Uh, I we... don't think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because her art is, is her, her art in there? in there. Okay, yeah. she said she was going to upload it. Going live now. And we should be rolling. There's Caitlin. This isn't working. There she is. What up? I was like, there's no way Caitlin's missing the post one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh. Oh, yeah, there, you there, go. there you go. You're okay. fine. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Didn't we have 12 for this at one point? Um, we've got 10. Okay. We've got 9. Wait. Yeah, 10. No. We only have 8. Oh, Anna's coming. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're <laughs> just back to like a normal eight. In person right now? Normal. Well, um, um, next month, I've only got one, two, three, four, five people signed up. So if anybody's interested in next month, get on there. Am I on there? Month? Yeah. Like this is, it's going to be like an illustration. <laughs> What's next month? This is, this is, yeah, yeah, what is next month? I can't say yet. We're already live. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. We got to wait. <laughs> Sorry. It was I'll tell you at the end, end of the end end show. Of yeah, we'll say that at the end of the show. Sorry. Right sure now, I've got up. Isaac, James, Jared, Kat, Miller, and Haley. Okay. Kat, you're there, right? I haven't heard you talk yet. I'm here. Yeah, she okay. popped in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Slightly concerned now that my mic isn't working, but I'm here. You're here. <laughs> um, oh, what? that's what I'm bringing Whoop. Not bad. Yeah, Forgot I, I still have some of my old keyboard, uh, my old keyboard shortcuts. Is this the first time in months that Nate's not currently restarting, rebooting, or? That's, well, uh, fun fact. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I did all this yeah. last week because I thought last week was our episode. <laughs> so. No, that little hiccup was my fault. I forgot my keyboard is still mapped to certain scenes. and <laughs> That's fine. It's just extra cool music. <laughs> Lauren's in there. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> What's she doing in the other room, Gary? Watch you guess, I guess. <laughs> How do you from the other room, baby? <laughs> Oh no, I know what I... I can figure it out. I'm winging a bunch of stuff. Hi, Anna! Yeah, what's up, Anna? I don't know if I said hi to Caitlin. I was thinking I was looking down when you popped on. Oh! Hello! Wait, when did Cassie leave? Oh, there she is. Okay. (laughs) I just saw you in the waiting room. I'm like, wait, I didn't see you pop out. Oh, man. I, well, I would say play the Pokemon theme, but uh, I don't want to get it. Yeah, we'll get we'll get a copyright strike for it. And then Nintendo's like, we own your show now. It's like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were... Um... I just need to, like, hum it a little off-key, yeah. and then... <laughs> On Twitch, we would have people that would, that would play emulators, and uh, you could pay, like, five bucks to play the entire... Pokemon theme song, and then also the uh, the villain duo. They have a theme song. Oh yeah. That is what? like the full version is like yes, seven Jesse. minutes long, and it would be for that one day. People would willingly pay five dollars to play it back to back to back to back. <laughs> but yeah, streamers would make a lot of good money that day. 
I had a friend uh, at his wedding, the DJ, um, we uh, we asked for the Pokemon theme song to be played. It was great. It's a banger. <laughs> yeah. All the millennials went out on the floor and danced to it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yep. Who plays Pokemon on the screen? Yep. I did play Pokemon Go. Yeah, I was a Magic yeah. the Gathering kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same. I was Every poor. Again. <laughs> I played a lot Jared. of Pokemon Go. My I played kids, Rummy. I don't watch the cartoon. <laughs> I don't know if they play. I'm addicted play to Lorcana. I am now addicted to Lorcana. <laughs> I went and dug through a box and came home with like 90 cards. Because I'm like, I can fill whole <laughs> <this> collection. <laughs> so, but, so I guess instead of the the song, we can just go. I got to buy it, you go on. <laughs> <Like I'm sorry. laughs> okay, Gary, you knew that. <laughs> so who all, who are we waiting on? Anybody? Um, I. Th- Think everybody's here that's coming. All right. You said Haley, Haley couldn't make it, so right. So there, if anybody, so somebody, or one or two people have joined since, or at least one person has joined, maybe I think since I last checked it. So I may have to adjust your screen, your window while you're talking, but no okay, people. Cool. <laughs> I never know what's going on. And your I window is pinned in my in my scene, but if somebody joins, then it might it might get a little wonky. Okay. So. Da, 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 da. But don't don't let that stop you. Just do what That's you do. That's okay. Maybe it will distract from when I forget what I'm saying. It'll be fun. Yeah. Well, you won't see it. Yes. So, unless you're watching. We have Facebook <laughs> up, but it's delayed. Okay. So then I get really confused. Yeah. I try not to watch that. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, this is what happens when you have like you know almost ten people live with different setups and different mics and cameras. You just kind of do what you got to do. <laughs> Floor producers aren't paid enough, is what I'm saying. Oh, I mm-hmm. I like your shirt. Your clever kaiju shirt. Everybody's right. loving the shirt tonight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, uh, which is actually available on the website officially. Is it? In the merch wait, store. Wait and say that after it's live. I will. See it. I think Bye. I have a hat up there too, so, you know. Nice. All you, all you truckers out there. I'll, I'll do the other ones too. I just haven't <laughs> uploaded them yet. Are there enamel pins yet? Uh, I it, want it, pen. Ain't nobody got a budget for that. No, I, I there might be. It. I had some plastic ones I gave away. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No keys. No keys. Yep. Text. All right. Well, you know what? It's right at eight. We're on time. You ready to rock? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I just got your text. that said, "Knock, knock." I yeah. Guess. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, right. And then you let me in. So. <laughs> it said nothing. <laughs> I was busy. We were deep in conversation. Yeah. Make him wait. It's good for him. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't see Gary get cat punched? <laughs> what? No, I guess not. <laughs> that way, little cat paw just comes up and yeah. <laughs> just reaches up and. <laughs> Thank you for not making me live right as I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Gary sucker punched by his cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like how we're live and and yet the audio is feeding through. Intentional, huh? No, we are live. He always does that. Oh, we are live. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. you can yeah. hear the audio, but you can't see yeah. it. Yeah, we've got some banger yeah. music going. Ooh. And I've learned at the end, after he says we're out, there's a little bit of musical, and you can still hear what we're saying. Yeah, <laughs> I can't, I can't control. We're animals, I can't control it. I just dance until it's done, and then you know, when he's done dancing, that means you can talk. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yep. Are we? All righty. You ready? Sure. All right. Three, two, 
one. Hey there, fellow art nerds, and welcome to episode seven of season four of the Pin Click. Tonight, we are Pokemon trainers. So my click has drawn themselves as the Pokemon trainers. And as I teased in the um, little intro in the Facebook event, there are quite a few Pokemon in a lot of these pictures because I get to look and nobody else does. The rest of the clique hasn't even seen what's going on. By the way, I probably forgot to say, hi, I'm Deanna. I'll be your host for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're new to the Pink League, thanks for joining us. Um, the way it works is every month we get a group of talented artists together. We give them a prompt and they make magic on paper or digital screens or however they do it. It's always magical. It's always beautiful. Um, and tonight I'm ready to bring the click out. So roll them on out and join me. <laughs> <laughs> So how about we introduce everyone ourselves tonight? I'm your co-host, Gary Bedell. Thank you, Internet Land, for coming. Uh, Nate? Hi. Tag, you're it. Introduce yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm uh, I'm Nate. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Nate of um, Mammoth press so to speak if that's anything to go by um co-founder of clever kaiju and uh co-owner of cryptic tattoo and social gallery uh which a lot of people in clever kaiju uh, are an avid part of so yeah just busy guy <laughs> do i pick the I'm next sorry, person I, I just started looking at some of the comments and um <laughs> Rachel just said smooth as sandpaper. No, I'm actually pretty happy with this time. No, no, I'm not taking that one. This I like save your jeers for the next one. This one worked fine. <laughs> like, I'm... Uh, back to introductions. <laughs> the next block on what I see on Facebook has two people in it. Introduce yourselves. <laughs> Which two people are you talking about? I don't know, Gary. This is awkward to have everybody introduce themselves because I don't know how to. Yeah, play. Jay is. Like, you know, introduce yourselves. I, Here, I'll I'll, I'll pass I'm, the card. It's Anna like. Anderson. Hi, Anna. And the guy next to you. I'm James. I'm James. I'm James. <laughs> <laughs> they're artist people. They're not actors. <laughs> it must be a full moon tonight party. or something, man. Right? Thanks, yeah. up, I got. I'm taking over. Yeah, you take over. That's what you we do. We have Gary Bedell. We have Nate Howard. We have Anna Hanson. James. Oh my God. Rutherford. 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 Everyone forgets. <laughs> He's James Kaiju James. in my phone still. So we've got Josh Metter. Hello. Sarah George. <laughs> Caitlin Blaine. Hi, Internet World. <laughs> we have Cassie Parker and Kat Miller. Hello. She really is human. I've seen her. She is. Yeah, she <laughs> no, is a person. A lies. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay, a another, another comment, I think, from the chatter before we went live. Yes. At cleverkaiju.com, there are t shirts. And a hat. Yes. Flood the internet, crash the site. There'll be more. And I think uh, a very rare special edition of the uh, uh, one a click a pen designed by James Rutherford from like what two years ago. We did a special yeah. summer oh God, summer camp version. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll, two years ago. I'll be uh, up re-uploading that design for a bit. Nice. So. For that one, we did a live version of the pin click at Tremendicon. And they did fun. summer camp. What was the twist on summer camp? It was horror did characters. Did we give you characters to make? Oh, characters to make camp counselors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and James designed Camp Want to Click a Pin, and there's the coolest shirts ever. Yeah, Besides there's a video pin. of it. You can actually watch a, uh, that Deep episode. Dirt. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, we did record it. Yeah. Shout out to them. They're awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still so, so Media. Stone the ones that no, 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 it was, um, no, 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 it was. No, no, do you nerds? Oh, do you nerds? Yeah, do you nerd. the, the... Oh, Excuse me, yes, do you nerds? Sorry. Mm -hmm. We gotta tag them. Yep. But down memory lane, we did the shopping section. <laughs> um, 
little trick down memory lane. Now we need to get into seeing you guys, how you would see yourselves as Pokemon trainers. Who's going to sing the theme song? I don't know what you're about. All at once. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what did you think? Would you have rather drawn Pokemon, or was this a fun twist? I thought this was kind of a fun twist, because it let you draw both, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought it was interesting. I mean, because we did an episode where we were D&D &D characters, and that was... That was a lot oh, of fun, yeah. and people really <laughs> responded to that. So then it was that episode that this one was recommended. There, it was requested, like, could we do Pokemon trainers? And and I was like, well, I think that has to be done. And so if we could really continue the trend, we could we could be anything. And yeah, yeah it, was, um... it, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. The exact thought I was having. <laughs> like, anything you try, you could do it. <laughs> well, well I'm sitting in the murder dungeon <laughs> I recognize that did you teach me how to draw a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from there once for Vision Con I did <laughs> you I remember it. It, it doesn't suck it doesn't <laughs> suck right. <laughs> that's funny. That's what most people say about my artwork when they take it from me. <laughs> it doesn't suck. That's cool. Nobody says that. Uh, I do. Take it how I you love will. You, Nate. <laughs> well, you know what we're going to do just for that? We're going to start with Jared. Oh, <laughs> why not? Oh. So. It definitely does not. <laughs> but... I'm going to share it for him because he's from his Samsung. So I'm going to close all my other windows so I don't leak spoilers. <laughs> yeah, let's get it out of the way. I mean, cool. Woohoo, let's do it. <laughs> well, only because all Gary right. has a rule. He doesn't go first or last. I guess that when you're the co host, you just. That just formed. Make that what it... Just stuck, man. Just stuck. <laughs> I mean, it, that was just first it just stuck, you know, yeah. That's not what happened. <laughs> Um, this was good that I have to share yours first because I forgot to turn on screen sharing. So perfect. Oh. Um, <laughs> screen one. Do you guys see it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. <clears throat> there he is. Feels like an appropriate Pokemon to choose. Yeah, yeah that is. Artists. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the only problem is. It totally there looked like you too. Yeah. My screen Love sharing it. button was in the way of me zooming. <laughs> well, him with pupils, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that That's guy so cool. shocked coming out of there. <laughs> Look at that hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like how you use that brush for the throwing effect. Too. Yeah. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, That's nice. so silly. That's, that's me. <laughs> that's me. I don't even know the name of that Pokemon. I was just like, artistic looking Pokemon. And then this one popped up. Is this an actual Pokemon or is it? Yes. Yeah. It is. Yes. Ah. I don't know what generation it came from. I don't remember. Yeah, I can't remember Four? either. Yeah, maybe so. I think. Mm -hmm. We need you Pokemon cool. experts to yeah. walk us through. Yeah, we got to pop that our internet land. Second generation. Yeah, man. All I, was, all I was concerned with, yeah. I guess, because the Pokeball was green and pink. So, like, everything else. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I, lo I love the file name, too. Jared Pokemaster. Which I know what, I know what you're saying. <laughs> hey, but hey, we need to change his name back to that. <laughs> It's Pokemaster. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, uh, missed opportunity. Yeah, I was halfway through drawing it when I realized I didn't even know what the art style looked like, and I was afraid that it wasn't going to match the art style, so then I was like, screw it, I'm just going to keep going. I hear you. Oh, this looks yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> My cool, man. really good, man. Thank really you. Good. What'd you use? Uh, my sketch book pro or whatever the hell it's called on my tablet. Right on. A sketchbook yeah, pro, I man. I started painting with it. I can't use it for anything else now. 
I like the um, foreshortening, like the actual, like the angle of the Pokemon. Yeah. Like that was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that hidden leg. That's not easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And also just the the like movement and the piece too is really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Going between those flat colors and then using the, the mm -hmm. paintbrush for like the blur effect. Awesome. So are these Pokemon like are they in the ball and then you throw the ball like a grenade? And then they mm -hmm. pop yeah. are they like they little like genie creatures? Poison. Do they are they like those Candy. Go watch an episode. Dispensers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just. It's like it's like a genie, you know, and a lamp. Okay. They live in the little pokeballs, and then you use them to do all your battling because <laughs> this is a yeah. world that doesn't have violence except for Pokemon fights. <laughs> That's I don't cool. know. I feel Jesse and James are awfully violent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is cool. Tyler, what is your Pokemon's name that you are training, Jared? What? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Are you supposed to like give them people names? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a Paul. His name, his name is Hefe. <laughs> Who? What? It's Hefe. 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 <laughs> El Hefe. Hefe and the Pokemaster. <laughs> the <Yeah>. Pokemaster. <laughs> Pokemaster Hefe. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never defeat me, Pokemaster. El Jefe, who's you? Okay, so Rachel has, has in the comments, has said, I love the smear used for the action of Smurgle coming out of the Pokeball. The thing's name is Smurgle? Smeargle. Yes. yes. Or yeah. Smurgle. It's Jefe yeah. Smurgle. So, yeah, thank you, Rachel, for the uh, for the alley-oop there. That, that, that uh, is... Oh, follow up. How many of you artists actually played any Pokemon? Well, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Yeah. <laughs> We've done told on ourselves. Sure. Yeah. We will yeah. we will do a hand raise when we go back to full screen of people. We might be getting sued. <laughs> no, they're going to hire you Please, guys. Please, Nintendo, don't more. come after us. Mm. We're blue-collar artists. We're just told what to do. We don't read into it too much. I think Nintendo owes me one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know that for a fact, actually. Yeah. yeah. All the crap I've had to put out with making their games, I think they owe me one. Yeah. <laughs> with all Until that, they find out how much you too. you took you took home and will release later. <laughs> all right. This is really cool, man. Jared, Thanks. I really like this. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Great work. Yeah, Again, no denying it, Jared. The flat colors with the painted brush paint brushes and stuff that's awesome like with the sh uh the shadow and the, you. Underneath the you there the pokemon and then the blur effect great stuff really really cool now quick someone else go i don't like being looked at <laughs> <laughs> all right well real quick since the question was asked raise your hand if you have actually played pokemon what well, pl play pokemon what though go well okay like, all I there's a card game first, right? Yes. Yeah, you never no, the there's a video game, game first, game. and then it became a card game. Game, game Boy Ooh. Color. Oh, so who no, played? Game Boy. Who game played Boy. video game first? I mean, I played. Yellow My hand is raised. All right. Red now, who has played the card game? My hand is raised. <laughs> <laughs> who? I think you can raise your hand in Zoom, but I'm not sure how. I don't know. Who has seen the cartoon? I've I've watched my kids watch it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I've um, I'm familiar with it. I took my niece and nephew and like when we had the when we had the the movie theater in the mall still. So that was that long ago when they've released the first yeah. I took Dude, my niece and nephew to I see that the, movie and it was I was working there. It was fun. That, I was I was working <laughs> in that. Oh, you, oh. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. It was, it was fun. It was, I was happy for them. But yeah, I was a Magic the Gathering kid. Movies. I was waiting for that movie, but yeah, it didn't really nice. happen. Nice. Oh, and I forgot Pokemon Go. I did play that. Yeah, one. I played Pokemon Go. Yeah. Yes. Yep. What's the weird. deal with gotta catch them all though? Like, do they catch them in the balls in the wild? Yeah, you they throw them. Yes. And then you have a Pokedex that you have to fill, so you can keep track of all their information. So it's that's 
Mm -hmm. And they learn different abilities too. You don't, even if you catch the same ones, they may not learn the same abilities. Mm -hmm. And some of them you can't catch. You have to evolve from the early or on. trade. Well, this is Southern Missouri. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> Real quick before the next drawing, um, another co comic shop says, I chose all of you. Oh, oh sure. Aww. It's so much sweeter than what you were saying last month. <laughs> which, and, which tells me it's um, Rhonda that's on the. My cuff says, Nate Howard, I am shaming you currently. Yeah, I saw. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody knew. <laughs> so. Next up, I think we're gonna jump to Caitlin Blaine. Okay. Woo. Um, sweet. Oh, wait, so, can, you tell me, can you show yours? I can. Okay. Uh, yes. So this month I challenged myself to actually do something in traditional medium because I see everybody else do traditional stuff and I get jealous, so. <laughs> so can we see this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice. So this is me. For those of you who haven't played Pokemon, you can have up to six on your person at a time. So oh. here's my team of six. Seems They're heavy. all OGs from the original first generation because that's the best. Um, You're not a fan of Eevee, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so Eevee's a little uh, dog cat creature i don't know what you want to classify you it. mean the cute dog. one nobody likes that one? Oh, okay yeah it uh it evolves into all sorts of different versions of itself so that's what the three are at the at my feet and then the little ghost uh gengar and oddish, oddish. Oh, i've tattooed like three of these if that helps <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah uh this was done with uh copics and colored pencils on bristol does the um does the Copic actually kind of melt the color pencils? I've heard that it does that. You know, I apply mine like I, I do my Copics first, and then I do my marker or the uh, colored pencils second. So I don't know. I, I typically don't go back over uh, my colored pencils after I put down the Copics. Yeah. Fair enough. That looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. It does look really good. Oh, yeah, so I love the color choices. Are great. Well, now you know you got to make a print of this one. <laughs> yeah. That should be your banner behind you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is me. Uh, awesome. I like that that pink wash with the Pokeballs back there. Nice design. Yeah, that's really clever. I like oh, that. Thanks. Really, really nice. Frames it perfectly. That's, that's my cheat for not doing backgrounds. <laughs> No, that <laughs> is a background. So yeah, that gives me no time. Yeah, background. But That's yeah, it's fun. I don't do a lot of traditional medium stuff anymore because I I'm lazy. Um, digital has trained me to be lazy a little bit. Uh, but it's always a lot of fun to tinker around with with the markers and colored pencils. So well, tell us about your process. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I. Uh, obviously, I, I did a few sketches. I struggled a lot with the pose. In fact, I've got the original sitting next to me. I drew like on the other side of the paper with a completely different pose and then scrapped it. Um, so it took me a few sketches and then I uh, inked. So I sketched everything, inked it um, with like, I don't even know what, what pens am I using? My, microns, essentially. So like Sakura microns, I think, is what I've got laying around. Uh, and then, like I said, I, I go in and um, erase all the sketch lines, uh, and then I put down the Copics. So um, I kind of kind of do like, a, a, in terms of like, uh, I guess, terminology, I flatted everything, so like a flat color with the Copics and then I went back over the Copics with other shades of like darker Copic colors. Okay. Um, yeah. And then, so I kind of did like a little bit of like cell shading, if you want to call it that. Okay. Uh, and then I go back over that with colored pencils. Um, and then one of the things that I do with the colored pencils uh, is I, I generally pick like a uh, unusual color for shadows. So if you look like I was using kind of a purpley color 
yeah, uh, touch yeah. all the shadows across. And then I was using more of a yellow light to touch uh, highlights um, that you can kind of see. So uh, mm -hmm. the nice thing with the colored pencils, I use the Prismacolor, uh, and they're a little bit of a softer lead. And so they, they like, you can kind of build up on top of, like, your lines with that. And then they blend really well. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Copics do come with, like, a blending marker. I don't really do much with that. Neither do I. It seems weird. But it's, it's yeah. not labeled correctly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of a, like, it's a colorless. Label, yeah. But I mean, you can use it to erase or light right. areas. It's, it's kind of, I think it's essentially just, like, alcohol. Like the Yeah, it just alcohol. thins out, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> And then once I use it once, I don't want to use it again because I'm I know it's just gonna track and yeah yeah um yeah and that's the other like the struggle with with the alcohol markers is they bleed and so using like a thicker paper like Bristol kind of helps keep those right um those inks like from bleeding out so but you can like even see here where I didn't clean up my piece I've got uh, a little speck to the right and. You can kind of see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought that was my monitor. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then with the background, I just I just chose a lighter color. And then I, I did draw the Pokeballs on top, like, afterwards, because I felt like it needed something more. So. The combination of, like, traditional, like, with pencils or color pencils and uh, and, and Copic markers and stuff is, is fascinating. Because I know, Gary, you've done a lot of, like, pencil drawings where you used a, a, a collection of grays. And it just made your pencils look like silky, but they still look like a pencil drawing. And I always thought that was really impressive, but I just don't have the nerve to ruin, to like stain my tips with pencils. <laughs> so, but I did discover that like with Copics and Prismacolors, if you, I, I love how they're semi transparent alcohol markers where you can do your flats and then use those exact same colors to go over where you want your shadows to go and they layer in a way to where they 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 act as their own shade marker so you don't have to keep layering and me i i'm always afraid i'm going to muddy up the colors but i really have a lot of respect for people being able to mix mediums and it works really well i love the hair in this like i love yeah. i love how the, that it's just got that that ambient glow to it <laughs> The yeah, lighting is done really well. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, really, really well. Yeah, I did. I did minimal cleanup in Photoshop. I did have to because I don't have a scanner big enough to scan. It's like on eleven by fourteen. Oh, uh, nice. And so I, I did like uh, adjust a few adjustment layers in Photoshop just to clean up the, the photo. But, um, yeah, that's me. My Pokemans. Well, Rachel <laughs> loves it, and she said she had high expectations for you, Caitlin, and you did not disappoint. Oh, thank Word. you. And she also said, um, yay, thank you for the info. She learned a lot about Copics today. Oh, yeah. That yep. was a great explanation of how you drew this. I I, I learned a lot. I want to see this drawn like, in person, though. I want to see it. Okay, well, let me do it all over. my screen share, and it's right here. Oh, no, no, oh, I want to see it in person. Oh. Yeah, no, in oh, person. Yeah, yeah, I want to see, see it in person. Here too. <laughs> my, and also, it's another reason why you want to draw on Bristol is yes. Yes. Copics bleed through. So um, you can see the backside. Um, another pro tip, if you're going to use Copics in a sketchbook, you're going to want at least mixed media paper. Mm -hmm. um, or else you're just going to ruin your sketchbook papers pages, which if you're cool with, that's fine. We get a lot of uh, blank comic covers. I, I've used gray tones in a book, but I'll take a piece of cardstock and put it behind the right. edge and not use yeah. the other side. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it does. It bleeds through like crazy. Yeah, it's something that a lot of uh, the the comic create like the comic manufacturers and whatnot. It's something that they don't really pay attention to is the the kind of stock they put on their blank covers for artists to draw on because. Yeah. Those things are wild sometimes. Like you just get these really shiny and where you, you put the, the alcohol marker on the surface, but it doesn't absorb at all. And you're yeah. mostly just pushing color around until it dries. Yeah. And it's or, you know, some of them are good, but yeah, you have to be really picky about the what what you use those on, but well done. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome.
lovely piece. Thanks. Wonderful. All right. Well, Josh, how would you like to go next? Uh, that'd be perfectly fine with me. Yay! I was hoping you would fight me. Wait, fighting you was an option? <laughs> be quiet, Poke Master. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, Dude, that is nice. wicked. <laughs> oh. I'd watch it if that's what it would look like. <laughs> right? You got some Miyazaki in there, man. Like, that's... <laughs> Dude. I almost yeah. did Growlithe, because he's one of my favorites. That's so cool. Yeah, I, I like uh, Caitlin chose all original Pokemon 2 from the first generation that's it's the best one yeah <clears throat> yeah i'm a huge pokemon fan uh i played it when i was a kid i think it came out the same year i came out uh, <laughs> gross <laughs> so i i grew up with pokemon uh you know it was just a big part of my life and then after i graduated high school i uh, played it like non-stop for like three years and got a Pokemon tattoo. I have Blastoise tattooed on my arm. Nice. <laughs> it's the only one I've got, so I've got to get some more to try to balance it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one was a lot of fun. I did it all digitally. Uh, just kind of sketched all the Pokemon on different layers and then brought it all together and did one ink layer and then uh, did like several other random color layers to kind of bring it all together. But I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I like that it's in like this different style, but it still feels like Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like with the, the big like uh, action lines behind it, speed lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big burst of color, uh, mm -hmm. which is actually something I used in my design for tonight's piece but like everything in there is so iconic and that jacket is the composition I, I don't know this is dope dude you're, you're, you're putting off some strong uh gem leader vibes in this yeah. 100 percent. Uh -huh. <laughs> i feel like isn't there a sound effect when they release their pokemon pokemon oh yeah yeah i hear that looking at that background yeah, <laughs> you you even have like the like the master Pokeball, like the yeah, the, the, yeah. Yeah. the look like a Death Star droid. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, I went and looked on Google and looked at the actual backgrounds that they use in the show and in the games, and that's what inspired this one. <laughs> I considered going in this direction myself, but I, uh, well, there's a story, so we'll we'll move on. This is this is really cool. <laughs> really, really so, good, dude. I appreciate you drew them to size. Yeah, like the Blastoise is he's a big boy. Yeah, he's, yeah. Big... he's executed so well too. I love that, like how he looks. Thanks. Yeah, that's a really yeah. cool ninja turtle you drew like, there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> If Rocksteady were a turtle. No, those are cool. <laughs> so awesome. I'll let somebody else have the floor. Mm. Well done, man. Uh, line work is excellent. That is a great piece. There's a lot of killer line work tonight, man. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. I yeah. You guys only invite the best. I know, right? It is me. I mean, statistically, we're bound to get it right, at least by accident. I know. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, Mr. Not First, Not Last. Oh, okay. I guess I go we're, good we're now. Towards the middle. Uh, so, when Pokemon came out, I was in high school. Shut and up. And I remember it. But I, it, it Shut like, up. I remember it fondly because, like, it'd be on in the morning, and I'm like, this little anime cartoon is, is cool that Nintendo makes it. I don't really understand it, but it's wacky. It looks cool, whatever. And uh, I didn't really get into it, get into it, but I understood what it was. And it and it came on this uh, station called UPN, which became uh, 
the CW late way later. Uh, but it, and it was channel 14. And so I always remember Pokemon <laughs> with a green number and channel 14 in the corner. <laughs> and it just being off when I wake up. So because like our cable boxes back in the day, you can set them to an alarm and they would wake you up in the morning if you're old enough to remember that. You rich uh, kid and cable. <laughs> and you rich kids and cable. I know, right? <laughs> So, uh, I did some like oh, prelims first, and I was like, "Well, because let me tell you, like <laughs> trying to like draw like that that style of a Pokemon trainer, it's kind of an anime style isn't really easy. It's not. It's it, it really it really isn't. Yeah. And um, then I was like playing with it for a little bit, and, like doing like all these sketches and stuff, and I was like, "Well, of course I want to do the iconic." throw because I remember that seeing that all the time Ash throwing or um, Brock I think his name is the guy mm-hmm. who is that his name mm-hmm. yeah see yeah. I, yes and, and Missy <laughs> and like he, yeah <laughs> like he do his cool throws and stuff so I was like I want to do the iconic throw um my original idea was to do like these things I, I was going to call nightmare Pokemon but uh, I thought it was going to be, like, too gruesome. It was going to be, like, uh, me sewing together regular Pokemon with ghost Pokemon. <laughs> creating you seriously yeah. need to read up the lore on Lavender Town. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be, like, really, like, uh, very full metal alchemist with it. But I was like, no, I don't want to be that dark with it. So I, I came up with this painting first. And... I knew it. I knew it. You throw in something, and whatever it is you're throwing would be warped and distorted. Perfect. Yes. So I was like, I did it, and I was like, okay, well, uh, I was like, it's cool and all, but I really want to push it a little bit further. So I ended up doing this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. nice. Oh, CR- did, did you have to Google the old CRT like channel? I love it. Oh. <laughs> So this is like no, kind of like what I remember. Do. I get it. <laughs> Blown out, you know, <laughs> color. Oh, yeah. and, oh that's yeah. so cool, man. Hey, yeah. does this anna- you announcing that Clever Kaiju is starting a television channel? <laughs> <laughs> we, no, and we will not be showing Pokemon. So <laughs> we're Pokemon. neck deep in ideas that are really cool that we want to try and make happen. This is just added to the list, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, Gary, that is so perfect. I mean, the problem is with those initials, people would be like, "What's walking you?" <laughs> <laughs> That's so. Now cool. this totally looks like an ad between you know from commercial. One hundred percent. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Movie days at four thirty. Yeah, and, yeah. And that's exactly <laughs> what I'm going to convey. Like, if you grew up in the nineties, yeah. you you know this. Even if you don't know it, like you know it. Because, you know, you remember, catch them all? Uh, yeah, it's like you remember <laughs> seeing it on the old TV. It's not like this 4K brilliant stuff you kids have now. Like this yeah. stuff was like See, you got the scan lines and the, yeah, the I love that Gary's making these right. really good. Man. I I used to record the Pokemon cartoon on VHS tapes. So yeah. <laughs> See, you know what's up. There. <laughs> it looked just like this, didn't it? Mm-hmm. I love that you have the old Sanyo like like CRT TV like channel marker in the corner. You yeah. you deliberately put the scan lines in. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you would with the rounded that. corners. Dude, my arcade actually has like installed filters where I can put the scan lines in because oh, it actually awesome. makes the artwork make more sense since that's why it was designed. So it's like mm-hmm. it's yeah, it, I love that the scan lines give it that slightly distorted on all your line art. So it's so freaking perfect. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> and it kind of looks like some of your let like up in like in the hair and stuff. It almost seems like there's like a tracking, like the the right. the glow of the hair, like the way the the scan line yeah. set. There's almost like a tracking. Just yeah, I mean, just like our childhood, that. like the tracking was yeah. off, and that's that's so cool. <laughs> can, can you show how you like the? 
I guess, your process for getting some of those details. Oh, like, you're talking about like the, the CRT lines and stuff? Yes, yeah, the texture and then like the Oh, yeah. offset. He's like, trade secret, click. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. On my Patreon. Um, so the CRT lines are actually, uh, I make those with the pencil tool. Okay. Oh. And I go down to one or two pixels, usually like one, and I make each one of these are like a line Oh, wow. to make, and then I duplicate those. Like I make them a pixel or two apart. You you didn't pull like Wow. a texture from Yeah, you could here. have just gotten a filter, No. man. Wow. <laughs> and I, and I make them individually per line. With a, that's a pixel wide, Okay. and then I just I just clone it, you know, a bunch of times. But you know, I make sure that they're. So even or somewhat even and then i put that on multiply and i dropped it down to 11. i put two on there i made one that's white i made a set that's black and one and a set that's white and then i've made uh the white one uh an overlay so it gives it kind of like that blown out feel a little bit and then i use an airbrush over the uh myself there To blow it out and that's with an overlay and how i do the offset like that with the color is that i make two of them and then you double click it and you can turn off your channels Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. but when you do it make sure you push your image uh i take the arrow keys i usually do like uh uh upper right So I'll take push the uh, right key and the up key together, and it just moves it slightly up, like a couple pixels up to the to the, you know, up there to the right, or to, sorry, to the left, and uh, then you'll see how those colors will change. So like I can go in here, let's say I want to turn off the green channel. Let's see how it looks different. I can pick something that just looks Mm -hmm. Yeah. how I want it to look. Or I can turn my green channel on. But usually I like these two, especially if there's a lot of red in it. I usually turn my red channel off. It makes it look really, really wild. So you get some really cool effect Okay. Yeah. when you do that. Um, and then for the ball, the ball was uh, just a separate layer. I kind of painted this with solid colors and loose lines. And then just, I just ended up blurring it and then darkening it. So it feels closer to us, the viewer, and it just looks like it's in motion. The way I did it, I, I did pull a lot of shortcuts with this. You know, of course, the background. You always got to have the epic Mm -hmm. Yeah. ocean line background. Uh, got that from the cartoon, uh, and then I just painted that and then blurred it a little bit using the Gaussian blur. Nice. <laughs> but how did you pick that font for Pokemon? That's amazing. <laughs> 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 that's just the logo i took <laughs> i took that <laughs> I mean, that's. there's no way i was gonna pick that but no you I just, should I just like that there's again. professional I mean, it's and like, then there's you're expert like holy crap it's got the tracking that's amazing that's beautiful you're like yeah something that happens and you're like well, what i did was i painstakingly drew every one of these damn lines in the background <laughs> and I did this magic trick with the off with the sun with the lines and So thank And then you the for logo, inviting I googled me because it. everyone else around here is like, how the hell do they do that? Witchcraft? Yeah. <laughs> and I did that with the channel 14 too, so it has an offset as Yeah. well. Did, did you hand paint that with like a pencil tool again? <laughs> Not the channel 14, Okay. I did. No. He actually did that traditionally um, and then just handed it in. He pulled out his old TV and took a picture and. <laughs> Little square tiles. It's all tiles, Like, actually. it's just Not like. scanned. Six and Yeah, a half I feel bit. like I took a lot of shortcuts, but I am like, I just know the basics of Photoshop and nothing about that looks like a shortcut to me. There's so much in this and it makes it amazing. And I love hearing when you guys tell how you do this. I've already forgotten what you did and I won't remember how to do it, but Me it's, too. it's amazing. Good thing this is recorded. <laughs> <laughs>
You can rewind. There you go. Yeah, and oftentimes you just get into a rabbit hole where you're like, well, if I could do that, then I could do this, and I could do this, and then you yeah. want three or four different versions of it, and then you end up mixing them, and then, but no, this was, you definitely had like a goal in mind with this, Gary, and you, you nailed it. Awesome. Thank now, you. when you guys do that, when you get in a rabbit hole and you start trying stuff, have you ever forgotten what you did to make that happen? That's why everything's on its own layer. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The twelve layers that you see have three versions underneath them that you don't. Okay. okay. <laughs> Did you not just see everything? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember season one. You guys trying to beat it into Haley's head that she needed more than one layer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like you're gonna want to move that. You're gonna want to fix that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, next up after W K A J U, gotta draw them all. Uh huh. I get it. it. All right. Oh, <laughs> that was cute. That's clever. I love it. That's clever. Whatever. Clever. <laughs> oh, man, we're on a roll. <laughs> oh lordy, I'm gonna quit talking, and we're gonna bring more art out. Um, Cassie, would you like to go next? Yeah. All right. I'm Pokemon nerd, and I'm probably yes. gonna have a bunch of characters that nobody recognizes. <laughs> So, I like that you just said, I'm Pokemon nerd, not I'm a Pokemon nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Semantics. Okay, I think I forgot how to share my screen. Do I just share content? Is that right? Up at the screen? Okay. Yes. David popped in on the, uh, the old YouTube. My... I don't know if it's working or not. Way late getting here. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. I love that. So, so these are the it's... ones that you typically find in Lavender Town. Joking. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it seems like I like a certain color. <laughs> I just really wanted to do ones I liked, so I didn't care about the composition if it was all one color, but... Um... Yeah, it was going to be hard to avoid because there's a lot of blue and purple in the Pokemon that I like. Because they're a lot of poison and ghost and creepy guys. <laughs> These are great. Awesome. Love it. Your self portrait is spot on. I know. I was just saying, I <laughs> yeah. love how self aware you are. Great. Like that. <laughs> yep. Got to have my flannel. <laughs> <laughs> great so, position too. That's a that's a really good position. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know I wasn't going to be very dynamic. Me as a person, I'm not. The Pokemon can be dynamic, but truly I would just be, I'd sit on the ground and cross my legs if I could <laughs> in a Pokemon <laughs> battle. So, um, yeah. I don't know if anybody recognizes any of these, but this one um, is from the first generation at least, mm -hmm. right? You've got two yeah, of them from the first like gen. Gold that. I recognize yeah. them with a tombstone on his head. The dog. Oh, yeah. Tangula. Yeah. Uh, Tangle mm -hmm. of Growth or something like that. Yeah. Tangle? Tang growth. It's Tang the growth? evolution of Tangela. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I love him. He's just a big mess. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and then I got hair cross. That was my favorite in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and Toxtricity is Poison and Electric. Oh, yeah, he's a nice punk looking guy. Yeah. My absolute favorite is Sableye, so he's sitting here next to me. <laughs> oh. um, yeah. And then this new one from the latest game, Houndstone, yeah, is a, cool. like an undead dog. So, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> you know what I love about this is that it reminds me of a lot of the stuff that I would see in the Capcom art book. Yeah, uh, which I actually own that. Yeah, book. but it, it just the way it's executed and like the composition and the, it just looks like something that I would see from Capcom. Yeah, you know, so I really like that. It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really very great. impressive. Thank you. All right, Rachel knows them all, and my cup says, "Holy ish, dude, that's amazing." <laughs> <laughs> what is holy ish? <laughs> <laughs> that young people stuff I don't know. 
Yeah, it's, I know you said that you drew yourself not very, very dynamic, but your your posture is saying so yeah. much. Like, yeah. I, I, I think maybe you mean not dynamic in the traditional sense, but that is a very yeah. dynamic pose. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you definitely stand out as much as those Pokemon. Mm. Like, it's a great drawing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like got like a like the darker Archie comics vibe to it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm seeing. And I don't. I like, hope that wasn't an insult. Like I absolutely love. No, that. no. I. I thank you. <laughs> Archie Comics, are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> so I see like some some of the lines, like the the contour lines, the black inks. But then, like, are you are you um, uh, painting over those too in places? Is that is that what you've done here? Well, I started, um, I was just trying to do a digital painting, but things just weren't standing out against each other. So I wanted to go back through and add some darker lines. So like I did go back in and and outline with just a black line mm-hmm. and kind of make them pop. Um, I didn't get through all of it. I didn't finish it, but like I had started on this on Golbat. Um, and then I just did highlights on him because okay. I didn't. I like the electricity. Kind yeah, of yeah, he has a glow yeah. to him. Yeah, but yeah, they these three in the back just are all almost the exact same color. They use a lot of the same palette mm-hmm. in Pokemon designs, so I was trying to get them to kind of pop a little bit more. Okay, um, so I might push that a little bit more, but um, yeah, yeah. I was well, just kind of like the lines down first, and then you were painting over the lines because I know some people like uh, lock transparency. Mm-hmm. On their line level and then paint over it. So I didn't know if that was, but it sounds like you went back over, like you did the painting part first and then you did the lines. So mm-hmm. yeah, actually, I I kind of here. Let me see if I can get my time lapse video. Um, I sketched it and I kind of imported, you know, all the sketches, but then I resketched them, so they're a little bit cleaner at this mm-hmm. point. Um, and then I painted over it and then when that wasn't defined enough i did enough, i did more line art on top of that so okay. very cool that's so cool. cool it looks super intentional so yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i love it this was done in sketchup or um this is procreate, procreate sorry yeah. yeah i've had sketchup on the brain <laughs> yeah i i love procreate it's amazing yeah some of the stuff mm-hmm. that gary was doing earlier uh, you can actually do that like as a filter in this yeah that's... <laughs> let me see if i can oh chromatic yeah yeah oh, let's see i don't know how to okay maybe <laughs> shoot i never use it so i don't know if it shows up actually i used oh, it for the first maybe time not. in mine so yeah it's yeah. interesting it's a eh, anyways. Lab, but i've never played around with enough that's really cool about it though. i love it yeah I love the transparency in the wings. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. I just keep looking at the, how much work had to go into the flannel. I know. <laughs> that's what I, yeah. I actually chickened out of the flannel. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless you're I, shadowing and you're shading on top of the flag with the flannel, like, screw that. I, you got that I ambient lighting that, and stuff though. on it? I just it. did a layer above it hey, and then did it's like over shading. It's not cheating. It's called <laughs> doing the work. You're doing great. It's great. Yeah. It's called creativity. Yes. I think that you, the if you didn't do it. You chose for the sweater, like under the flannel and the Pokeball, like the contrast against all the blue yeah. and purples just looks mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. really good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I wanted it to stand out because I knew if I if I wore something different, it would just I would just disappear. And <laughs> Those are actual clothes that I have. So oh, yeah. I could reference them. <laughs> okay, well, now I'm imagining you sitting in front of a mirror, looking at yourself, <laughs> putting on that outfit. It's that self awareness again. <laughs> like, it's just that. Hey, goosebumps for the background? Oh, That's yes, it is a goosebumps background. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, something I'm noticing in this, I thought all Pokeballs were red and white. Are you guys being creative, or are they not? They're not. There's like a test. That's the basic Pokeball. Did you? Okay. 
There's mm-hmm. that's for your you can hear the eye rolling. Ultra and master, and, <laughs> and there's lots of special ones after that. Oh. Yeah, I I did a, a dusk wall for mine because it fit, it works well for nocturnal or cave dwelling Pokemon. So that was most of the ones that I had. So that's why I used it. Yeah, that, cool. that was a nice touch. <laughs> Thanks. I... The Pokemon nerds will catch it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Because when I do get into something, I like to deep dive, and I love mm-hmm. that there's all these layers. That that makes that makes this kind of collection stuff so much more fun. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they look cool. You know, you get to mix and match your Pokeballs with the Pokemon. <laughs> and from a marketing standpoint, mm-hmm. yeah, they yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they sell displays of them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'm losing track of who's gone and who has not. Let's say Miss Maybe Human. Would you like to go? <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me half a second. Oh, oh. oh I said <laughs> that's so it's cute. my starter of choice for that generation. Yeah. Right. Sure. I think after Mew, Cyndaquil is the cutest Pokemon. <laughs> He's a little dumpy. I love this. This looks more like you're just now meeting this one rather that, than throwing yeah. it in battle. <laughs> so I approached it like I was um, doing. Like I would with pet sitting whenever I'm meeting a new pet, um, especially if the parents aren't home. Um, so my philosophy is that if they want pets or they want to be have anything done with them, they will come to me if I am quiet enough. And if they do, protect most fingers as much as possible. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Before stuffing them in a ball and throwing them into battle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I I definitely wanted it to, to be more like, hey, I'm meeting this Pokemon. And that, you know, by being delicate with it or, you know, giving them their space, you know, then then going and meeting with them. Um, as I'm sure that I, this is as far as I went with Pokemon was the second generation. Um, and uh, with Cyndaquil, how they feel, you can tell from the um, fires on their back. They have like four little spots and whenever they're really ticked off or really energetic, they <laughs> um, look like little hedge- hedgies, hedgehogs and have spiky fire flames. <laughs> so That's so cute. Mm-hmm. Like you're picking out your starter, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I do. Love it. Well executed, well lit. Yeah. <laughs> also appreciate that so far you're the only person who's drawn like more than one Pokeball, and so you have like your travel bag with your so Pokeballs start out small, and then you like you press the button and they enlarge. And uh, toss them out. So I did I not just, know that. Like, yeah, I love that. Okay. It's great. Mm-hmm. I was about you know, to ask why they're very sized. Because that's what they're supposed to be when you're traveling around. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be, it's so bulky if you're carrying these giant Pokeballs around. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Six. I can put six Pokeballs in my backpack. <laughs> yeah, but that's not easy access, man. Mm-hmm. Usually you have them on your belt or. So, does that mean they get tiny again like that when you're walking around? Yeah. Like, after, even, oh, God. Those poor See, we come from a time where our inventory, we had They're pockets. They're bigger on of, the inside. Mm-hmm. We stuffed 30 swords just, in our pocket. They're TARDIS balls. <laughs> Pokeballs of holding. I love that even, like, the clothing, like, is very... Pokemon trainer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very Pokemon mm-hmm. trainer. I love that. Like even like the shoe design. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
High top croc sandals? <laughs> sure, let's go with that. <laughs> I will say that the sandals and the legs were the hardest part of this drawing. I bet. I mean, that's a that's a really, like, there's a lot of story, like, or at least a lot of movement in that pose. Like, mm -hmm. there's... Yeah. Well, and feet are hard by themselves, mm -hmm. and you chose to draw not only shoes but toes too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, the toes were not that terrible. Yeah, this is cool. But, yeah. yeah. That back right foot, the perspective on it looks really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely took me a while. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm always, I always have like more than one bag on me and always have my headphones in. So, you know, figured, figured it would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Gotta have your attributes. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> I love the facial and... expression too. Yeah, he, he. It's funny the cynical's like eyes are like slanted, but you lined them up perfectly with your hand. Yeah. So like, there's like that emotion there that that you've gotten across. Like, yeah. You know, it's not just staring blankly behind your character. No, he's curious about mm -hmm. your hand. Like, do I? I can imagine his little nose just like bobbing <laughs> up and down, like he's smelling. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> This is, yeah, yeah, it tells a story. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will say his nose was... I didn't realize that his nose curved. I always thought it was straight. But no, mm -hmm. apparently their noses curve. Mm -hmm. It's a schnoz. <laughs> so you can tell, like, there's these people who know Pokemon on the show tonight, and there's just the rest of us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Yeah, that only, looks like a Pokemon. Only, only in ex to the extent of really the first, first gen and second gen. That's all After you. that, I yeah. only <laughs> kept track of the movies. Now, here, here's a question. Now, the generations that you guys have drawn in your pieces tonight. Now, are these based off of the generations that you grew up with? I assume. Okay. Um, Hold yeah. on one second, yeah, Nate. Kind of. I just got to look at the Facebook feed and it's people not drawing. Oh, there we go. We're yeah, I know. It's, it, it's switched. Hold on. I'm still messing with it. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> am, am I going to answer, answer Gary's question? <laughs> go ahead and answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yes and no i mostly watched first generation i have most of my pokemon stuff is first generation but i um didn't really have access to pokemon growing up my my babysitter had the pokemon and i and by the time it really got started i was already no longer going and seeing them staying with them so oh. At that point, and I had no access to the games either. So, um, but just as second generation was going, I, um, that was about that transition time. But no, I, I enjoy Pokemon, the animation, <laughs> not much else. <Yeah. laughs> Though I do have, I have the very rare, and it's, definitely can't be sold anywhere for a profit but um i have the very rare um pokemon board game that they came out with with a first generation oh nice like it doesn't even have mew on it it only has mew too it doesn't have mew <laughs> wow. like mew is still a secret pokemon <laughs> <laughs> so Great, and guys. it doesn't it also doesn't have any it do, also doesn't have ho either so mm -hmm. but yes that oh, was cool. that was fun <laughs> that's cool well done mm -hmm. yeah thank you all right thank you. 
Let's go to the two for one square. James and Indiana. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to like Indian wrestle or rock, paper, scissors for who goes first. Fight out with your Pokemon. See who yes. wins. <laughs> Battle. Wins. <laughs> Oh, Rachel played the board game. She said it was a lot of fun. I think I played a Pokemon Monopoly, but I don't think that counts. No, um, it was like taking the board game or the um, the oh, my goodness. video game and making it into a board game. That is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Is this digital or traditional? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'll take so, it. <laughs> so the background is actually digital. All everything else is traditional. Um, it's Copic markers. Um, yeah, I re I really wanted to like push um, the shading and all that, the dynamic, you know, angles and all that with this one. Um, yeah, yeah. My my. Like Bulbasaur. Mm. Yes, it's like I I I love I, I love the Bulbasaur. That that's always one that um I guess in late in later games it's like if you're able to get it I always try and get it mm -hmm. and it's always in my team because yeah. <laughs> because I, I I I love Bulbasaur. Um yeah, and then the Jigglypuff is also one of my favorites. <laughs> Um, so that's, yeah, so, huh? You should have been drinking out of your mug. <laughs> so, um, you yeah. also did the ball that expands. I noticed. You're holding the smaller version. Uh-huh. Yep. See her belt? She's got them on her belt. That's how you Yeah. Do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, and, yeah, I, that shirt that I drew, uh, that I did, uh, I actually have one. Very close to that. It's blue, not not green. I want I wanted that to match the Bulbasaur. Um, nice. <laughs> yeah, that that was something else I wanted to play with with like texture and stuff with this one. Um, but yeah, I I had a lot. Um, but yeah, I I really pushed the the uh, the markers on this one. I did several layers. Um, the paper I actually used on this one is not one I've used before, but I actually really like it because it's a lot thicker. Um, it's the Master Touch um, mixed media, so it's like really thick, and so you're able to put like a lot of uh, marker down, mm. a lot of ink down without it, you know, bleeding everywhere. I had a few spots where it, where it bled that I just thickened up the line because it wasn't that bad. But, yeah. yeah, this is really cool. I love how your, your markers, like, I, I love how they layered. And they're just really rich colors. Mm -hmm. Your flesh tones mm -hmm. are really pretty. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the shadow on the vines. Mm-hmm. Showing like the depth going back. Yeah. Yeah, it's really great. Mm -hmm. I like that your shoes match too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually, and yeah, ironically enough, I have shoes that are relatively close to that too. Yeah, it ties it all together. Yeah. Dude, I'm starting to want to see like photographs of you guys in these poses because <laughs> you do it yourselves and I think you use a lot of reality. <laughs> it's like I, I do have, I do have plushies of you know the Bulbasaur and the Jigglypuff. So I would love that. <laughs> I, I, got, I, got, I got I got the uh, I I actually got the uh, the Bulbasaur and, and the Jigglypuff from the Build a Bear, so I actually have the bigger uh, ones <gasps> with with the sound too. So <laughs> yeah. I love the That's action great. lines behind you because it kind of reminds me. Like in the newer games, especially uh, every time you run into a trainer, they always have like a little screen of like them like getting ready, and they have like these action lines, and then you go into <laughs> battle. And so I'm just like getting a little bit of that vibe from it. So. <laughs>
the yeah. color blocks in the background is that traditional or is that digital digital and, then, and see i thought that was like yeah traditional the whole time but it like yeah it, it that looks, looks like, like 80s craft paper a marker or, or painted it or something excuse me that blends well uh, and I, I like you put that ground plane in there too. That ground plane mm -hmm. is a nice offset with that purple. Excellent mm -hmm. touch there. Yeah, it's like that. The ground plate that they're on was actually like a grayish purple, but yeah, after after all the other color went in, it's like you can't tell. It just looks great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, really well done. Mm -hmm. And another cool print. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, did you want me to go next? Or... Yes. 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 <laughs> Even the guy that keeps keeping his face off screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm the silent partner, I'm telling you. I'm the silent partner. Too, <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's great. Please that's tell me that's not, not what I'm thinking that is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Did you just find a pig in the woods and, <laughs> and start training? Oh. With bacon. <laughs> Encouraging <laughs> cannibalism. <laughs> the dark undertones are so wonderful in this. They even yeah, the, so the, the Pokemon colors. font for the for the box. <laughs> oh, I like the nod to the that. rare candy. <laughs> Man, this is perfect, James. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. <laughs> Wow. I wanted to do something that's like, you know, in the realm of training. And I was like, well, animals hate me. So I was like, maybe I should do one where they're like trying to kill me or something. And I'm like, you can't do that. And I'm like, well, you know, maybe me cutting up a, a magic cart for sushi or. You know. uh, well, I wonder why they hate you. I they... do this, this trick with all my pets and Yoshi won't do it. He just, he'll chase the treat around, but he will not let me get it on his nose. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe that's why they hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and then they find out that you're feeding them their own kind. Rocket oh, badge. <laughs> and all the drool. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I love all the detail you put in the background. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, with the colors and the brushwork. Man, with, with that clean I had a little paper. extra time because I thought we were last week, so I was rushing last week. And I was like, well, hell, I got more time. I'll just keep going. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to start telling you guys it's a week sooner than it is. No. <laughs> I still waited till like, late yesterday to do mine, so. But, Nate, you had, like, all the electronic stuff ready because you were a week early. No, that's true. That's why the stream <laughs> is running so smoothly. Yeah. But I still waited until like yes last night and today between it uh you know I had to schedule around a I'm learning how to train click artists. Mm. <laughs> Rachel Pig will eat everything. Tell us that though. <laughs> oh see I'm not a good trainer. <laughs> oh, I was still looking. Oh sorry. I didn't <laughs> yeah, you know. We were done. <laughs> you just stared at that background and that. Look at that. Yeah. Forever. I love the uh, brushwork is great. Yeah. I love this this little smirk on your face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's pride right there. Yep. I like how your your like the thought process is how can I level up this Pokemon as fast as possible. <laughs> Well, it's like we're supposed to be trainers, so I was like, well, I could do the action pose, but I had a feeling there would be a lot of those. So I was like, well, maybe I should do something that, like, you know, maybe if you're training, you know, <laughs> probably a useless skill in a battle, but, you know. Step one, balance so a treat. Have Step have two, the game fight to the death. Do you know which Pokemon you wanted to draw, or did you? Um, I played the games, but it's like, it's 
I played was it blue, red, and yellow, mm -hmm. and I had two Game Boys, so I could trade them across each other. Uh, at the time, I played the was it Pearl and I can't remember the other one, and then we had the latest one, I think. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's not like a favorite Pokemon or anything; it's just whatever works. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. I just started looking at Pokemon. I was like, what can I do for a gag? <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> yeah. The, the yeah, Felix Out pose is great, too. Yeah. yeah. That's not that's not an easy pose. Like, mm -hmm. you guys are doing, like, the bending down and kneeling down. It's not an easy pose to do. So that's really well done. Especially with the with the with how you have the foot resting on the butt. Like, because that's how you sometimes will squat down like that. <laughs> And that's kind of hard to execute, so yeah. kudos to that. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, well done, man. Mm -hmm. That is so you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and closing out the show tonight will be Mr. Nate. Oh, oh that's right. I, I think this. I didn't miss anybody, right? I'm in this now. I don't think so. All right, let me see if we can. All right. So there's a bit of a, a little bit of a story, a little bit of decisions that kind of happened. So this will this will be fun. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what generation is that guy from? So uh... <laughs> preview. And is that Super Saiyan hair? <laughs> so the 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 fun bit about this okay so i i i had to do some digging on it's been a long time since i've drawn anime and uh i never drew pokemon anime like that the pokemon style so i knew it had to be pretty specific and i and i referenced like two different dynamic poses and then and then tried to translate them into me um, this was the outfit I was wearing yesterday, so it worked out. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to kind of recreate that pose as much as I could. Um, uh, I even sampled the colors from two. There was two two trainers. There was, I guess, Ash was the main guy, and then there's a uh, a girl with like really huge hair and like like Daisy Duke shorts or whatever. So I used those two for color reference. Yeah, <laughs> I used those two for color reference, and then and then made them look somewhat like what I was wearing at the tattoo studio yesterday. Um, I even got the hat, the same hat, and the little <laughs> tuft of hair that I got. So I tried, I tried to be accurate. You got the little tuft there in the front of the beard. Uh, the as far as a Pokemon goes, I didn't know if anybody would make their own. Or if they would actually go with Pokemon, because it, but it makes sense that you would because you're fans. So that you know, um, I always kind of felt like I had my own little Pokemon, <laughs> and so I made I, I. Although I referenced, I wanted to make me the trainer as referenced to the original as much as possible. Mammy himself has his own color palette and his own design, so I ended up like going a little wild with him. Um, I referenced a few different animes in his <laughs> in his design. Um, you can see by the hair and the little tuft of his of his tail. Um, I, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of mammy butt cheeks, which I've never done before. <laughs> so now that's a thing. Oh no! Um, but yeah, I got a little bit of a uh, little bit of Dragon Ball in there, a little bit of Mega Man, um, a little bit of Ren and Stimpy. Which is an anime, but it's still like that's the only way I can. I've never really. Whenever I first designed him, I you know I I got to use I, I got to cheat as a as a design, and then it wasn't until my buddy, uh, well, a, a lot of our friends, um, Jeff Kessinger, actually made a three D model of him, and like mm -hmm. hand hand oh, cool. sculpted, Mammy, that he was just like, yeah, you do know that most of his anatomy don't make sense. So he had to make Mammy make sense. And so it's like, well, I guess he would have something there. It'd be his little butt cheeks. So, um, so yeah, that's fun. So the rest of it, though, and I, 
Uh, just before I left the studio, it was just me and David. Um, and uh, I was like, man, yeah, he goes, so, you know, I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do for the background. I had a few different versions, a few different ideas. Um, but he's just like, I, I showed him this. It was just a white background with this, with the pose. And uh, he, he says, you should be in space on a surfboard. Yeah, you should be you should be <laughs> surfing on a surfboard in space, and I'm like I don't know if Pokemon are in space. He goes, why? They're, everything's in space. Like why not? I'm like I don't know. Like do you know? No, I don't know either. Why not? There, everything can be in space. So I was like, okay, fine. If you watch this episode when we go live, I will put myself on a surfboard in space. It's done. I'll see it. And actually, he popped in on the YouTube and commented. I don't know if he's still watching. Or if he's, I hope he waited for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, he says, "Well, I, I was way late getting in here," and he commented on some of the other pieces. So I don't know if he's still in here, but I told him <laughs> I'd do it. So I did it, and he popped in. So there we go. <laughs> that's you did not say he had to pop in and wait for your draw. <laughs> yeah, it's true, but you know, I you're right. I'm just glad that he he showed up. Nice. Um. But yeah, so the process of this was I went back to my old pot belly mammoth art style, or you know at least process. I've been doing a lot of like more one program painterly kind of more traditional style stuff. But this time, I did the sketches in Procreate, just uh, getting the loose sketch and getting the anatomy right and the and the shapes. And then I did each one completely separately. And then uh, I loaded th each of those sketches into Illustrator to do the line work. Um, I think I used like a two, two and a half point and then I changed the lines to tapered instead of the block. I like that better. And then I took those, the, the designs in, in the line work and I brought them back into uh, Photoshop to do all the flats and the shades and like the highlights and the details. And then each of those separately, I composed them together in Illustrator. Or in Photoshop, like puzzle pieces, and then, um, and then, uh, yeah. So then that was when David suggested the the board and the stuff. So I ended up doing the boards in. Um, no, I brought it all back into Procreate, and I did all of the background in, Pro in Procreate, all the all the effects, all the lighting, the nebula stuff, and the stars, and the signature, and the board. And everything else I finished up in Procreate. Uh, that's what we ended up with. About an hour before showtime. <laughs> I usually bounce around just fine. I mean, the process works for me, and I've gotten pretty good at it. That's how I did it in, with Pop Belly Mammoth. That's all, you know, I would I would do sketches or whatever. I would bring it up in Illustrator, color it in, in, um, in Photoshop, and then, and, then realign, and then bring it back to Illustrator to align the pages and whatnot, which... Um, the difference was is that my sketching wasn't actually on paper it was just in a different program but it was most it was all done on mobile it was all done on the ipad Ugh. which is cool that it's come that far um mm. but yeah i got i got to flex like That's three funny. different muscles for this <laughs> I love knowing that that's a surfboard because I, I just assumed you were on a um, disc like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I was just I was, yeah. was by request. <laughs> uh, I did a perspective, um, a perspective motion blur, or yeah, a perspective motion blur similar to what Cassie had shown on on hers, but I don't know. I, like you were using it for a different reason, but I it, it uses the same disc where I I it's a perspective blur. And I and it was somewhere tucked behind Mammy so that there was like this ambient light that was creating this the streaks yeah, and the and the and the motion yeah. blur without actually warping the two figures. So I thought that was cool. I thought that was fun. Yeah. Um so yeah, I was just playing with more brushes and more techniques and I mean these are this is one hundred percent my outfit. Very, very boring. <laughs> I was gonna do. I, I actually. Yesterday, you were wearing that. I was, yeah, yeah. When you came by the studio to to, to, to chat with us, that's absolutely the outfit I was wearing. <laughs> it's even my backpack. Even. You drew this yesterday. Yeah. Um. 
I was going to do a flannel. I thought it would be more dynamic if I had like a flannel like shirt like flapping in the wind. And I've done a flannel on a character before and it was fine. But in order for it to work in this art style, I would have to do it all by hand. So Cassie, again, hat, uh, hats off. Um, <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm lazy. I'm wearing a hoodie. And this is actually the same hoodie that I wear in, in the Potbelly Mammoth comic series. So this this mm -hmm. outfit is pretty much already like it's almost like my staple look because that's <laughs> the self awareness is real with me. <laughs> I hide in hoodies. I don't think real life Very Nate awesome. looks like Kevin Smith, but does anybody else see Kevin Smith in this drawing? <laughs> oh no, I didn't <laughs> see Nate. I'm like, this is Nate. The uh -huh. ears are a bit big, but I couldn't get I didn't want I couldn't get yeah, away from that. I think it's mostly the hat. Yeah. Like that yeah, cinches the hat. it. Yeah. yeah. The actual hair is uh quite stylish. I'm actually I pay a lot uh, you know, I pay good money for a haircut and then I I tuck it under the hat, so <laughs> actually have a uh, beautiful hair, but I can't I, when it was really long, like I couldn't tattoo with it, it being in my face, so I just kept wearing a hat. Well, I adore this version of Mammy. Yeah, I do too. I, he's just so over the top. <laughs> I thought about giving him, because me and James have been redesigning him for a video game concept. And uh, I want to give him power gloves so that he actually has, like, fingers. So he can, you know, work puzzles and stuff. And uh, I was like, man, I really like that whole, like, like that three, that fat, like, three-fingered, you know, you know. But then I was like, nah. I'll give him that over the top, like stretchy stump, you know, kind of attack. <laughs> so I'm always redesigning him. I'm and always just adding different features to him because it's it's just fun. But I'm yeah. trying to imagine all of Mammy's like uh, power moves, like what mm -hmm. his four moves would be. He has. I, I've got yeah, them what all. What type would he be? I've got them all sketched <laughs> yeah. out. They're all yeah. planned out yeah. and everything. He's got. Five. He's got like a uh, like a like on all fours flying headbutt. He's got a uh, a butt drop. He's got um yeah. There's there's about four major power moves: aerial and and groundwork. Yeah, for like a side scroller, beat him up kind of platformer. He's he's got them all. Nice. He's a flying ground type. Just yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's basically just a powerhouse on the ground and a and, a, and like an aerial bomber. He's got like a flying head butt and a and a, and a and a dropping butt bomb. Drops it down on him. Yeah. <laughs> but no, this is a. Uh, the butt cheeks are shiny too. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just like if I was gonna put that much time, and they even put the little cleft in there, and I'm like, all right, I'm getting a little carried away, and then no, wait, it's a shine. And his little, his little, his little. I thought I was, I was pretty, all of this, of, all, of everything that I'm most proud of, it was when I decided, oh yeah, his little hair, his little his little tail poof needs to be like his, this hair. Because he's got that little piggy <laughs> curly tail, because he's a pot belly, he's a pot belly pig mammoth hybrid. So he, from day one, he's always had this little curly cue like pigtail that people don't really get to see a whole lot. And then, <laughs> hooray, thank you. <laughs> But no, I, I'm just shameless self-promotion. Everybody else did real real Pokemon, and I'm like, well, technically, I feel like I already have one pretty much in my backpack all the time. So. <laughs> now, I am proud of I am proud of my click tonight. Like, <laughs> drawing yourself as a Pokemon trainer could have all looked very similar, and none of these did. Like, the, your imagination is, as always, super impressive. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought we were. Yeah. I thought I was gonna start fights. Like, um, actually, like. <laughs> well, that no, was really cool to everybody. Are there any guys? Uh, do you guys feel like this is a, a space where you guys can like experiment with things? When it comes For sure. To well, obviously, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just, you know, I was wondering if you guys like. Yeah. Well, actually, I can tell you guys really take advantage of that aspect of it. I think it's really cool because, you know, you can figure out what works and what doesn't work. And for the most part, what you're doing is working. So, oh, every month I take home something. 
Well, Gary, uh, you and I have actually talked about this before, but like there was a phase where, you know, like we, we look at a lot of portfolios like in Clever Kaiju um, when we're doing events and, and doing conventions and, you know, like and it's and it's nothing against anime, but we see a lot of anime and and it's and it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Gary and I explain to everybody who who shows us their sketchbooks that like, you know, we we drew anime at once at some point as well. In, in one shape or form but gary and i both at least and maybe some of you too if you don't want to talk about it that's fine but we have sketchbooks almost dedicated to that transition of when we realize like i got to get out of the anime and start moving into some other style or trying to blend it and there's a very awkward growth process from anime to like other forms <laughs> and it's like i almost wish we could i almost want to like publish the book like hey so here's some growing pains you know, like, yeah. but in it, and again, it's you nothing against anime. My, it was you, just you can literally go on YouTube right now and look at my sketchbook videos, and that's what it is. You'll just see like that. You know, me kind of trying to break out of that, break out of that, break out of that, and so I had to kind of rewire a lot of things that I did, I used to do, or used to like. I had to reapproach things. Like, oh man, I kind of. Un I kind of unlearned this and I mean, and again, still, you know, no disrespect to anime artists, but it's just like, there's definitely a process. There's just yeah, like in tattooing, like, easy. like American traditional tattoos, like it looks easy and it's simple. And that's by, that's for a reason that's by design, but there are very specific details that have to be done in a certain way in order for it to be right. And it's like, Oh man, I kind of unlearned most of these details, like just very yep. shape, like very specific anatomy that even though it's Less simple and it's easy, it's, it's not easy. It does that not necessarily the same. And that was, that was why I had to, I, I, I had to really, really reference like the pose and the anatomy extra more, more than I thought I would whenever we first started talking about this one. You, I just jotted that down. That would be an excellent panel at Tremendicon. Growing pains, showing other artists <laughs> how you guys start and mm -hmm. what you work through to get to where. I'm not going to say where you finish because I notice you guys. I seem to keep evolving, like all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's never. I will uh, back here and have <laughs> Cassie. <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it out of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All no, right. It's... Well, now we are going to jump into the plug zone before we tease you with um, next month's season finale. So. Oh, really? Yeah. We're almost done for the season. Mm. Unless you guys want to tag more on. I don't know. As far as I know. Um, let's just go back around. Jared, you are up first. What would you like to tell people about where they can find you or see more of you or what you're up to? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that That's so good. <laughs> That's clever. Um, so uh, I'm doing all kinds of random things on the side. I write for a, a website called Hackwood Academy. It's mostly cybersecurity and tech news. Uh, but um, that's where my passion lies these days as far as that goes. Um, I'm currently working on some artwork for some more streetwear type stuff for us tech nerds because there is none of it. And I'm tired of seeing just bad dad joke shirts like you could buy from Walmart. So it's like command run and stuff like that. But in like a run DMC, I don't want that. I want I want fun stuff. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm actually started to uh, hook up with a couple of potential people for that one. And other than that, uh, the Discord, of course, I'm six foot gnome, and I'm six foot gnome everywhere else, but I don't post like I used to. But on the Discord, I do post, especially if you want to see really weird um, paintings of WWE character, WWF era characters. Oh, they're uh, been doing so good. Totally lately. Yeah. They're so good. Um, <laughs> other than that, I'm six foot gnome everywhere that matters, and I don't post often, but say hi, and I will say hi back. <laughs> hi. Very sweet, very sweet. Let me see, Caitlin, yeah, how about you? Um, yeah, uh, so you can read my webcomic Moxie at moxiecomic.com. Um, it's been 
kind of on a hiatus as I've been working through some other projects, but uh, I am working on some pages for it, new pages for it right now. Um, in terms of my social media, uh, the easiest place to find me is if you go to just CaitlinBlaine.com. Um, all my social media links are there. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I probably post mostly to Instagram. Um, I am getting ready to launch my uh, e-commerce shop on my website uh, where you can purchase um, Moxie Volume 1 uh, along with I've got some prints including some Pokemon ones. I did some Pantone Pokemon gouache paintings that I turned into paint uh, uh, prints. Uh, so those will be available and then some miscellaneous other stuff, stickers, things that I've sold at conventions. So, um, yeah. Nice. It's you awesome to have you back. I was. It was great. It was awesome. Great. I yeah, spent the whole it. weekend drawing pictures for people. Oh, good. <laughs> I had to miss it this year. I was bummed. All right. Um, Josh, how about for you? How are you? Blah. You understand what I just said? <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can find me at Instagram under Josh underscore Metter underscore Art. Um, you can also find my comics while you're on the Clever Kaiju website, checking out a shirt and a hat. You can find my web comic on there. Uh, a new page comes out every week for Lying in the Shadows. So stay tuned for that. Sweet. Cool. Gary, you're next. Well, you can find me mostly. I'm active on Instagram and the Clever Kaiju uh, forums and the Discord. And you can find us there at cleverkaiju.com. Uh, if you want to go to my website, artistgarybadell.com, go to my Instagram. Same thing. You can get there from my webpage, but mostly I'm hanging out with the Clever Kaiju, doing some stuff with them. We have our events. Uh, we've been doing our artist brunches. We, uh, we did a couple of uh, Magma Studio sessions where we've all got on one canvas online and drew some really cool stuff. Uh, so come join us there. You can RSVP for events. Um, we've been very, very active lately. So, yeah, cleverkaiju.com. Come hang out with us there. Sweet. Cassie, you're up next. You can find me on Instagram, and recently I started using Blue Sky um, Dendril on all of those, or dendrilart.com, and I also have an Etsy. I think it's Dendril Art. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really on social media as much as I used to be, but Instagram, Etsy, Blue Sky, um, Tumblr, too. You can find me on Tumblr at Dendril as well. Awesome. Cool. Kat, how about you? Um, you can find me on Instagram at Kat M Illustrations or on Discord as I promise I'm human. And I've been uh, working or getting ready for Tremendicon convention. It's going to be my first convention. So nice. slightly terrified. One of us. So. One of us. I recently... <laughs> started doing the conventions in the past year and i was terrified too but it's, it's, it's not too bad you, you know everybody you were the you you were the boss of everybody there previously so <laughs> you got it you got that okay. all right looks like anna and james disappeared on us yeah their internet dropped they just texted us oh no um, yeah and they said that their their internet is dropped and they can't get back online but Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, but you they are also on the Discord. You can find them on Kaiju.com as well. Yeah. Very true. Check them out on Discord. And then Nate. Yeah. Um what's up with you? Well, so for a while Mammoth Press has been basically absorbed into Clever Kaiju. Um everything <laughs> it's been it's been awesome. It's been a huge relief for me. <laughs> uh so um geez, man, you're getting stalked, Jared. That camera's... Anyways, sorry, his camera moves automatically. <laughs> it's like... It's not a Bono It's camera. like a first-person murder scene. 
So, um, yeah, so nearly everything that uh, I've been doing has been either uh, is with Clever Kaiju, getting getting our community outreach out. Um, we've been, like Gary mentioned, we're, we're doing um, monthly brunches where we interview artists um, and get to know them better. We're working on some pretty heavy projects that's within the Clever Kaiju community, mostly through Discord. Um, so be on the lookout for those big events and then also, um, more importantly, how to be involved in, in future versions of this. Um, it's going to require a lot of support from the community, but it it's for the community. So um, it I can't really talk about a whole lot of it right now because nobody signed any contracts yet, but it's going to be sweet. Um, so that's been, that's been on that end. And then uh, besides that, uh, Mammoth uh, Inc., is is my moniker for um i'm co-owner of uh, uh cryptic tattoo and social gallery um actually the very first guest we had for the artist brunch at um was with the co-owner and partner uh david who inspired the background for today's piece who was also an artist on uh two uh, two seasons ago there was one where we were designing tattoos for for uh cartoon characters um, he wasn't on the episode, but his artwork was. So um, it's been awesome cross pollinating like the the tattoo studio side and art education of that whole industry with what we've been doing with Clever Kaiju. And there's a lot of parallels, a lot of similarities. So I've been slowly dragging them into the Kaiju Kaiju Empire. Um, but so yeah, either designing wicked cool tattoos and you know drawing on people or you know um celebrating all the talent that we have in our community here in kanju um you can find me on instagram and facebook as um uh, mammoth inc all the you could follow my my tattooing process that's been most of the artwork that i've been doing um and uh also cryptic tattoo and social gallery um to follow all of the the entire team Haley uh codling who we know for several months, she uh, we've recently brought her in as a uh, an apprentice. So, she has just recently started her tattoo um, uh, journey. Um, she's Skinwalker Inc. or Squ Skinwalker Tattoo. So, if you've seen any any friend requests from her, um, please accept it. It's it's safe. I vouch for her. <laughs> um, we, she's been learning a lot, and uh, she's been really early on, but she's making really good progress already. So, really look forward to seeing what she, how she hurts people in the future. Yeah. Nice. All right, real quick, let me see if I can remember. I forgot how to share screen. Hey, real quick, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, my son will murder me. So I did the title picture thing for oh, this, yeah. this uh, YouTube. And my son, Finley, he was the model. And he said that the only way oh. I could use his likeness is if I gave him a shout out on the clip. You know. You our, almost messed up. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you could have been sued, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah. No, so. You made a wonderful model. Yeah. So, Very well done. So Finley, Finley modeled for that picture. Sweet. Well, real quick, I am going to share. Can you guys see it? Cleverkaiju.com. Mm-hmm. So Ooh, this is where dope. you can find everything, I think, is the schedule at the bottom? Hey, there's me! <laughs> We're live on there! Yep, upcoming <laughs> events. Um, there you go, you can then, RSVP right there. You can go in and register on the website, and it and it feeds directly to us, mostly Isaac. This is this is Isaac's brainchild. This is his, his hard work. He has built, basically, like, an, an entire infrastructure... Um, just based on what we've started, the Discord is only like a. It's going to become only a small piece of like what he's built. Um, we're going to have um, there's there's already opportunity and and space for um, and I think a lot of some a few of you here in even in this episode have like work for sale. Um, we have our own own kaiju store, um, web comic um, feed that people can go in and, and read your stuff and it's all in house. We don't have to rely on anybody else. We don't have to rely on Kickstarter for, for things. Um, I mean, it's, it's, uh, we got our merch directly imported now. That hat looks so good. Um, and then books are available for sale per, by the artist. Um, and it's, it's, it's all 
all proceeds go to the to the artist. We it, you know it's all transparency and 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 uh, you know by by artists for artists. We don't we're we're trying to get away from relying on any other any platform as as, as possible. And if it all goes well, we have huge projects in the works that we can. F support and fund entirely through the the, the, the kaiju empire so to speak and you can the, and check out the website um you can get to the discord from there i'm pretty sure right yeah yep. you know there's a link and that discord is just amazing all the different <laughs> channels that are going on and different kinds of art different show and tells there are a little bit of everything. Every, it's fun to watch, even yeah. if you're not participating. Honestly, we have a lot of uh, uh like weekly or, or or regularly scheduled meetings and discussions um, that are on the Discord that people are probably aren't that aware of. But Isaac has done, has built a system where like every event that we have, whether it's in person in town or online or on the Discord or in Zoom, every single event that we have, if you register on our website. Uh, you can RSVP and it'll automatically like sync with any Google calendar you have and it'll keep you in the know and everybody that has RSVP'd all updates are automatically sent out so that you'd be notified of everything and all the details as they as they happen. So we're really proud of Isaac. We're really proud of his hard work. He's oh, this, yeah. this is next level for us. <laughs> Yay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, like I said, season finale for season four will be next month, April 25th, Thursday, 8 o'clock. And it is Thick as Thieves. <laughs> and I don't know what you guys... I don't know how to explain that prompt because my description here is narrative illustration based on the prompt Thick as Thieves. Uh, cool. I don't think... We, we figured by now you would have had something for it because I don't think we knew what so we were doing. <laughs> everybody's just going to come at this completely from a million different directions. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect description for Thickest Thieves. Cool. Yeah, Draw it. You're drawing in your head, are you? Uh -huh. <laughs> you're already drawing in your head. It's already done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many of you guys are doing next month's show? I know I'll be there. All right. I think I'm going to try to sign up for it. I think I'm going to make some time for it. Sweet. Yeah. Please yeah. do. Really great. I, okay. I have a Pokemon question that I want to ask before we end this show tonight. Okay. And I just bear with me, okay? <laughs> no, no, Kayla's going to laugh at me because this is the first, you're the first person I thought of. Kayla. I was like, Kayla's just going to like laugh at me when I ask this. So, okay. So you have Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm. Are those, like, pretty much the animals of that world? So there aren't, like, normal animals like lions and zebras and stuff. It, it's, ju it's just Pokemon. And if correct. it's just Pokemon, yeah. which Pokemon do they eat? Because I know they're eating some of those Pokemon. Like, are, do Pokemon get eaten? <laughs> well, they, they, yes. they eat the duplicates. Everybody has world? like 20 Pikachus. No, that's a good question because, okay, so like in the most current game, the most recent game, it's supposed to take place in like Europe, like France or whatever, like an equivalent of. And, and the thing, part of the game is you can go to these sandwich shops and buy like ingredients to make sandwiches to have picnics uh -huh. with your Pokemon. I'm pretty sure they sell like regular meat like ham and stuff like that so yeah I don't, but does that ham come from that pig i don't know <laughs> don't we have, no, they, they have avoided have answering this uh, question yeah no, okay it's like, 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 it's like, like, okay, okay for 10 year old children to, to battle it out with their pet pokemon <laughs> but they don't want to think about eating right you're gonna get a cease and desist letter yeah, gary not gonna be on the table <laughs> You're just gonna get a letter from him. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. I was gonna send me a letter that says, "Shut up." Shut that's up. it, and that's all. <laughs> all right, thank all you right, so well, much, that everybody. Beautiful thought in everyone's head before they go to bed tonight. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna wrap this up. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank all of you for taking the time to draw those amazing pieces of art. And we will see everybody April 25th next month.
Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Is that one?